remiss not to talk to you about Bitcoin, given that you're leading the bank's research into cryptocurrencies. I know you said that, look, this is not going to be something that's mainstream or a cash replacement at this time. But when you look at this market, how concerned are you? Because there are those out there that say this is a fraud, according to Jamie Dimon. There's a bubble. Do you see a bubble? Well, what I see is that uh, the so-called cryptocurrencies actually aren't currencies at all. They're not money. If you look at standard monetary theory, which you can't throw out, uh, this is really an asset or a security. And so it should be treated that way. And in fact, that's the way it's treated in Canada. What is promising is, in fact, the, potentially the, the distributed ledger technology that underpins it because it, it provides the opportunity to create efficiencies in financial markets in other places that could actually be beneficial to market participants and businesses and households. What about initial coin offerings? Because the European regulators have come up now and warned investors and said, look, you're at risk of losing your entire capital investment if you get involved in these things. Do we need to see more of this? And, and what's your stance on ICOs? Well, I'm not a securities regulator, and it's not the Bank of Canada's role to, role to comment on any specific ICO. But back to what I said before, these look more like securities to me than, than a currency, and they should be regulated as such. But you don't see fraud here in Bitcoin? I wouldn't have the visibility into whether there was <laughs> fraud in Bitcoin. <laughs>